Rotary encoders. They seem like the perfect user interface for your Arduino project, but if you've ever tried to use them, they just suck. If you try to actually buy a Rotary encoder, you will find out that it seems like everybody is using exactly the same part and they are just slapping it on another board and putting a higher price tag on it, so it seems like even the more expensive encoders would have would be the same quality as the cheaper ones. Now I haven't actually tested the more expensive ones, but let me know if that's actually the truth. Now from the handful that I have tried, these are the problems that I have encountered. So first of all, the button can be rotated and it clicks in place as you rotate it, but one click doesn't translate to one signal to microcontroller or, you know, one push of a button. It really translates to five, six or seven signals and you just kind of have to compensate for that in software, which is another problem that you will just spend a lot of time calibrating this thing. Even if you do calibrate it quite well, this is what will happen. You know, I'm just trying to move down the menu, but as I rotate the encoder, nothing happens, or it might move two steps down. So you never know what's going to happen, and that just makes it incredibly frustrating for the user. I mean, Devin from Make Anything had to make a gear system for his rotary encoder because it was too sensitive. That's, that's just insane. Okay, so the software sucks, the hardware sucks. I mean, how difficult can it be to make a good rotary encoder? Well, not too difficult as it turns out, because I actually made one myself. All I needed was a 3D printer and two micro switches. Okay, so this is it. It's as simple as it looks like. You spin the wheel and it pushes the button. Like, there is nothing fancy about that. So here is a little demo, I spin it one way, the LEDs change, I spin it the other way, the LEDs change. I mean it just works, and one step of the wheel translates to one LED being changed, not two LEDs, not zero LEDs, it, it just works. And the same goes if I do spin it fast, here you can see the brightness changing, depending you know, of how much I spin it. and. I can do it really really fast and it just works, as you can see the brightness is changing. I mean how difficult is this to make? Clearly it's, it's really simple. On top of that it's satisfying to use. The wheel has very sharp ratcheting sound and it just feels really solid to use. And on top of that it's just two micro switches. So you don't have to do any fancy programming and you could even use this with a discrete logic. So let me just show you how I built this real quick. It was designed in uh, Fusion 360 and it is just four parts with the wheel being separated so it can be printed easily. Apart from the 3D printed parts, there are just the two micro switches and an M3 screw and there is also a ball bearing which is just a regular skateboard bearing or if you still have a fidget spinner, uh, then you can just finally put that to some good use. I started by printing the base. And tapping it, then the stick can be inserted and screwed in place, but not all the way, it shouldn't be tightened. It should really just work like a shaft. And then you can move on to the wheel. As I said, the wheel is two parts, so you can print the bottom part first and insert the ball bearing, then the wheel can be inserted onto the base and the top part of the wheel then can be glued in place. Now, don't put too much glue on there because you might glue the bearing and it won't spin, so, you know, just a little bit. So with all the 3D printed parts in place, you just need to add the micro switches and you don't have to use any specific micro switches, you know, any will do. As you can see, there is no mounting for them, they are just hot glued in place. So we need to find a spot where the switch is pushed, just before, you know, the stick returns to its resting position. And once you do find that position, you just glue it in place, you do the same on the other side, and it works. Alright, and that's pretty much all there is to it. I know that this is 
really small project considering you know that I was uploading the coil gun, electric skateboard, resistance of vision wristwatch and those really huge projects. But I thought it would be a good idea to also upload something small. And of course, um, this is just a part of a bigger project, so subscribe if you wanna see what's coming up next. And let me know what you think about this project. Is there anything you will improve or is there maybe some roller encoder on market that works at Advertise and there is no reason to build one? And you could also tell me what you would like me to build and I might just build it. But that's going to be it for today and see you for now.